guy here? Oh, Artemis hey, Cobblepot. I'm familiar with this guy's work. I, I, I hear he's a doctor. I heard he's a quack. Well, most doctors are. Well, I mean, look at those rainbow socks he's wearing. I was just about to say, look at those socks. Those pants, out of control. He probably got those when he was in the seventh grade. I am here to instigate the changes that we need to make this a better industry. It started with those socks. We need to restore integrity, decency, and morality to this sport that we call our own, or else it will cease to be. So for this purpose, I have found a man who will help me to lead this crusade, a man who's no stranger to the RWA faithful, although he's us. been away for some time. Say it. He's been away for some time. Training and learning new skills and earning the respect of his company. I will say it. Learning the respect of his peers and fans yeah. around this great nation. Yeah. He shares with me the vision yeah. of a more glorified, yeah. beautiful, dignified, yeah. fleshy wrestling product. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a team game. It's been a long time since we've seen TJ Swift in an RWA ring. It's good to see some things never change. Got himself a, got himself a little haircut. Got a studded belt. I was expecting him to come out here and shake his rump like he used to. More serious approach. The Undertaker? You know, I love it when it gets dark like this. Well, I'm a little creeped out. What is going on? Somebody gonna turn these lights on or what? I'm confused. Not really that scared, but at the same time curious. I just want to know what's going on. Now. Oh my God! It's a small child. Now I'm really creeped out. Who smuggled that baby? In here? I don't know, but whatever it is, it looks like it's being born. It could be Crimson Alcameo. That's like one of his arch rivals in the RWA. I wouldn't put it past him. Definitely not Frank the Crank, I'll tell you Absolutely that. Absolutely not. Oh my god, I think you might have just called it. Holy oh shit, buddy, man, you just called it. Before there was a funny man, the Crimson Alchemia, he was the real creep around here. That man there is an inspiration. The Pharaoh of Fear has returned, ladies and gentlemen. The Pharaoh of Fear has arrived. And I called it. We're going to show you that I know everything. I can't knock you. You called it. I thought, I thought I was witnessing birth, and instead it was just the revival, the rebirth of Crimson Alchemia. You know, I've never had the pleasure of actually wrestling that man. 
I've only been in the ring with him one time, and let me tell you, he was a weird dude. I heard he uh, stabbed somebody. He did, actually, in a barbed wire ladder match. He straight stabbed somebody. You think he's gonna stab TJ? I only hope. I wouldn't be surprised. There's a little black box attached to that chain he brought out. Who knows what the hell's in there? Is that a tarantula, maybe? Uh, here I go calling it again. TJ, I wouldn't say he looks scared, but he definitely looks surprised. Is that the box? Hey, man, I don't know. I don't know. It's like he knew you were coming. He knew you were here. Who are you? A good weather committee. Why is he here? Who? I don't know why you're asking me. I don't book this, man. We didn't even know you were going to be here. Why are you here? TJ's definitely all shook up about this. I don't know. If he lets it get in his head, he's not going to win this thing. Did you hear him? I just did a good work committee. Hey, man, I, I brought him into this place. <laughs> he managed me. I could never understand the word he was saying. TJ picking on the officials. All right, I wanted to give him credit before, but I can't. I can't anymore. TJ is scared. He's he scared is so of Crimson and Kevin. Look at him. He's horrified. I'm with you, Connor. Get in the ring. TJ is pissed. And TJ, this crowd has come alive. TJ's a great mat wrestler, so I don't we know haven't that seen, Crimson. We haven't seen Crimson Alchemia since the last RWA Legacy, where he was pinned in like the first minute of the match. He was banished from the RWA. TJ goes into the ropes and doesn't go over. And now he's out backwards, Cactus Jack style. Crimson Alchemia looks like he's getting ready to do something. I never Kemia even dive. I've never dive. even seen him dive before. Slides out. And TJ gets out of there. Look at that man. He is so creepy. I knew. It. Look at TJ. And he gives him the heebie jeebies. TJ is actually a hypochondriac and a germaphobe. Yeah, he doesn't wrestle unless he sanitizes his hands five times. Learn something new every day. There's your fun fact, folks. TJ? And Crimson Alchemy likes to eat the peanuts inside of packages. Styrofoam. You don't even know this guy. How could you, how could you even come up with that? I totally made that up. I made that up in the comments. Crimson Alchemy has got TJ locked in a waist lock. I don't know if you wrestle around with TJ. TJ is upper echelon I don't know it. wrestling. I don't even know if if TJ is has gathered himself here. He still looks shook up. He escaped the hole, but he's back he's out like of the ring. Baby. Escapes and he's out. I don't think Crimson Alchemy cares whether TJ's in the ring or not. He's having a grand old time. I mean, technically, he can stay in the ring and lose a 10 count. Might as well. He's crazy, but he's not stupid. Trust me, I know. This man is hes calculating. He, he's always one step ahead. He's diabolical. That's the perfect word to describe Crimson Alchemy. Okay, right? Big old shoulder tackle. It's looking very, uh, very weird. Dropped him face first on his knee. His old jaw. Smash. Slam bang. It's a version of a jawbreaker. You could say that. Vertical suplex center of the ring, and TJ is stirred. Snap mares him down. Off the ropes. Whoa. 
Oh, he's walking, he's walking like, like an Egyptian. Egyptian and drops her an elbow. I'm all for it. That was that was pretty amazing. And back to the outside of the ring goes TJ. I think TJ came back and he realized he doesn't have any moves. <laughs> you gotta do something. I think he is doing looks something. Like, looks, like Al looks like Alchemy is stalking him. What's on his hand? He's stalking him. Oh, is, is, is it mummy rap? He might have been mummified. Oh. And he sends him hard into the ring post, back first. TJ picks him up. Body slams him on the floor. That's not cool. And that was just the opening TJ needed. Is that barely an entry padding? Got an eight solid. TJ breaks the count. Picks him up. Oh, sidewalk slams him right on the edge of the apron. That's oh. gotta hurt. I'm starting to like this TJ Swift. It, it appears now that he baited Crimson Alchemy in. Baited oh, him outside of the ring and he, he put baited him, down him outside of the ring. He baited him down the hallway. He's gonna bait him later. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Five dollars each time. Looks like he's going. 
going for the Alabama Slammer. He goes up. Pile driver. Oh my God, it's gotta be over. And TJ is folded up like Destroys an accordion. This, this could be it. Crimson Alchemy, he's gotta make the cover. And he slithers into it. And TJ oh kicks God. out. That what pile driver take? was fit to destroy a zombie. What is and it gonna take? Out. Crimson sick on that, it's all over. What could he be doing? And Put TJ's fighting out. Put. Blocks it. Here it comes. Wait, I don't think I've ever seen this before. Straight jacket. Cutthroat. I think this is a submission. Oh my I think god, he's I didn't even notice. Cutthroat, oh. rude awakening. This has got to be it. And it's over. Crimson Alchemy gets the W in his return to the RWA. What a match. Thank God. Thank God that's over so I don't have to sit next to you. You smell like a Portuguese steak. A Portuguese steak? I'm from Philly. Ladies and gentlemen, Crimson Alchemy gets the win, but TJ Swift Definitely had an impressive showing here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. Next up we have Cipriano Abruzzi taking on the influence Jason Devine.